Cleavers. Cleavers is a classic spring tonic and can be found growing in parks and gardens throughout the UK. It can often be found throughout the winter, growing low to the ground. But the onset of spring triggers a profusion of leggy growth. And it's this new growth, the young cleavers, leaves and stems, that are used for the spring tonic. Being such a common plant in the UK, cleavers has had a variety of local names, including goose grass, mutton chops and sticky willy, and it's easy to identify. Its square stems are covered in tiny bristles. These bristles tend to hook themselves onto passers-by, which children through the ages have taken great delight in as they stick them onto each other's clothing like plant Velcro. Its leaves are arranged in a rosette around the stem, and it has tiny star-like white flowers. These flowers in turn become grey seed balls, covered in tiny hooked bristles, which enable the seeds to be carried far and wide by humans and animals. Cleavers has a reputation for being a powerful blood purifier, though nowadays we might say that it helps improve lymphatic drainage. In this way, cleavers helps the immune system by relieving the toxic load on our systems. It's also a powerful diuretic, which means that it helps take excess water out of your body via your kidneys, which means it makes you pee more. As always, there are a variety of ways you could prepare your herbs, and cleavers is no exception but we're going to show you how to prepare a cleaver succus here. Succus is the Latin word meaning juice. In herbal medicine, a succus is a herbal juice to which you add an equal amount of honey. It's a yummy way to preserve the medicinal qualities of fresh leaves, and it's a particularly brilliant way to deliver herbs to children, as the sweetness of the mixture hides the not so delicious tasting herb. To get the cleaver's juice, either juice it in a juicer, or as shown here, Put the sticky stems and leaves into a blender with a little water and blend until you have a green liquid mixture. There will still be some solid plant bits in there, so strain this mixture through a sieve into a measuring jug. Measure how much juice you've got and then add an equal amount of honey or maple syrup if you prefer. For example, if you produce 100 mils of cleavers juice, add 100 mils or 100 grams of honey. Stir the mixture well Pour into a sterilised jar and label. You have now made cleavers succus. Because the water content of this succus is so high, it will only last a few months and must be refrigerated. Alternatively, you could freeze the succus in ice cube trays to have on hand throughout the year. <laughs>